On September 9, 2016, veteran firefighter Robert Pointer, 47, was found dead in a remote area in Hunt County, Texas. When a decorated fire captain was gunned down on a rural county road in Texas, investigations uncovered that shocking truth, which shook the entire community. In 2007, Chasey Tyler Mormon, a 20-year-old nurse, met Robert, a married father of two who was 18 years older than her, through a mutual friend. Despite believing he was separated, it's widely claimed by those close to Robert, a firefighter, that Chasey actively pursued him, leading to his eventual departure from his family. Their relationship officially started in December 2007. By May 2009, Chasey was pregnant, and the couple joyfully married close to their second anniversary in December 2009. Their initial spark faded three years into marriage, leading them to live in separate bedrooms. By the fall of 2016, Chasey had engaged in multiple extramarital affairs, and Robert was quite aware of these. Initially, Robert wanted to save their marriage, but later on, he gave up and wanted a divorce. On September 8, 2016, he contacted an attorney to initiate the legal proceedings of filing a divorce. On September 9, 2016, around 10.45 p.m., Chasey contacted the Roy City Police in a panic. Investigators reached the reported location near Hunt County Road 2595 and found Robert dead inside the car with a shotgun wound on his head. Chasey informed the police that her husband, Robert Pointer, was located further down the road, having suffered a gunshot wound to the head. What's going on? My husband, he went to go help me. My Jeep is stuck in the back around the corner and he's been shot in the head. Please. My... Come here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Please. Stay in here. Stay in here. She recounted seeing a shadowy figure and mentioned that she had called Robert for assistance because her Jeep was stuck in the mud. However, authorities at the scene were immediately doubtful of Chasey's statement. One point of skepticism was her explanation of how Robert's blood got on her arms, which she claimed happened when she pressed her hand to his head. I put the, the Jeep apart, and then I touched his face, and I yelled his name, and when I, I pulled my hand away, and there was blood all over my head. Upon checking Chasey's phone, investigators found text messages between Chasey and a man named Michael Garza the day before Robert's murder. She said, I can't love you unless Robert is out of the picture. They also discovered that Chasey was a beneficiary of Robert's life insurance. Chasey and Michael were arrested immediately. The investigators interrogated Chasey for around nine hours. She confessed to having relationships with other men, including Michael Garza, and Robert was aware of her affairs. Are you and Michael Garza dating or anything like that? We Do you have a relationship? Yes. Did y'all have a date? Was it date night? No, we, we just hung out. She claimed Robert was abusive, and he threatened her to take sole custody of their daughter. Why would your husband be trying to take your daughter from you, though? Like, what reason did because he give you? Because he knows that that's what's going to hurt me the most, and he knows that's what's going to make me say he's done it before. That's when she started planning for his murder with Michael. She further confessed that she discussed different plans with Michael to show Robert's murder as a burglary. The plan to kill Robert was planned today. He had talked about it, yes. And, and what exactly did he say was the plan? He told me it was going to make it look like a robbery. On September 9, 2016, Chasey faked her car being stuck in a remote area to execute her plan, and she even secured a $680,000 life insurance payout. The investigators found the shotgun used in Robert's murder was registered under the name of Michael's brother, Matthew Garza. In July 2018, during the trial, Michael was sentenced to 99 years in prison for first-degree murder. Chasey's trial began in June 2019. In court, she pleaded not guilty and confessed that Michael killed her husband despite her request to stop. Despite such claims, Chasey was found guilty of capital murder following a two-week trial. She received a life sentence and has to serve a minimum of 30 years in prison before being eligible for parole. Chasey Pointer is charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Another man, Michael Garza, is charged with murder. In May 2021, Lawyer Jessica McDonald filed an appeal against Chasey's conviction. She argued that Chasey wasn't informed about her constitutional right to have an attorney when the police first questioned her. However, the appellate court upheld the conviction. Chasey is presently held at the Christina Melton Crane Unit in Texas, and Michael is serving his term at the Barry Telford Unit in Bowie County, Texas.